Somebody roll. Say again. Feel free to tell him when to turn around, okay? If you're the guy who can dictate that, five to seven miles an hour, start no way. Fast as you can, stop. You don't have to come in as fast as you can. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Teresa, out of office camping. If you're new here, welcome. If you are an existing subscriber, welcome back. Today we're going to be installing a bullet point mounting solutions phone and accessory mounting system into my Nissan Xterra. The system that I have works on all second gen Nissan Xterras. I also want to note that when you purchase a system from Bullet Point, they send you a toolkit that comes equipped with everything you need to do the install, including drill bits. It also includes this really cool bottle opener for your celebratory root beer at the end. If you don't, you know, quit halfway through. No, that won't happen. I'm doing this. I'm doing this today. I'm doing it. So with that being said, I think we should just get to it. Buckle up, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Okay, so this isn't something that's absolutely necessary, but we thought it would be a good idea. Um, we are going to put some paint tape, that low tack blue tape, just on the outside of where we'll be prying up this center panel. It's just to protect the dashboard. Again, it's probably not 100% necessary, but probably not a bad idea either. Okay, using the trim tool, I'm actually going to take this little insert out with it. You could probably do it with your fingernails. I'm just having a hard time with that. So I'm just going to get that out of the way. And then you're going to use the trim tool and you're going to go all the way around your tray and pop it to get it to come out. So we use the pry tool and you're gent you're going to gently, but kind of like, you know, with a little bit of, you got to get it off here, pry your tray out. But what is really more important, because that's pretty self-explanatory how you're going to use this tool. What's really important to note is where the clips are on your tray. So if you can see, they're basically in the lower right, top right, lower left, top left. So now you know where they're located. It will help you. That's where you should be emphasizing where you put your pry tool because I think as you're putting the tool in you're also going to be a little applying a little bit of pressure to these clips it'll help you get your tray out a lot easier so now that we have the tray out we'll move on to the next step so we want to remove the ruby grid from your mounting plate it'll just make it easier for you to get to um, the areas that you'll need to be putting some hardware this was also supplied with the kit now if you have your own tools you'd rather use that's fine too so I'm going to go ahead and use a Sharpie and mark the six holes where we'll be drilling to attach the plate. If you're feeling really comfortable, I'm sure you could just take your drill and go ahead and drill them without marking them. I uh, didn't feel comfortable doing that, mostly because I was worried that if I slip with the drill, I could mar this, and I really didn't want to do that. But whatever works for you, you just do you. Ooh. Um, another little trick I thought about was, you know, as you're working with this, it kind of gets turned around, turned around, whatever. You sometimes forget which way is which. If you see this little guy, this is the guy, this little guy faces you as you're sitting in your vehicle. So this is the, what I would call the front, even though the front of the car is over here. The other thing you can do is you can see that this one's taller and it sits in the tray flush. So you don't accidentally mount it backwards because I don't know maybe that could happen maybe it couldn't and you could also do a little piece of blue tape or something that a little sticker something that lets you remember that oh where the blue tape is is facing me just another little trick next what we're going to do is I've removed the nut and the washer from the back of these mounting screws go ahead and put your six screws in just to check alignment make sure your holes are lining up with your plate but don't mount it yet because you're going to want to go around and take those back out because you need to go back into your vehicle and score underneath of this because nine times out of 10, you're going to have to do a little teeny bit of adjustment underneath because there is 
sometimes uh, they hit. Oh, see, this is good that we're doing this. Now we know we got to do something with that one. This one feels like it'd be okay. And this one will probably be okay. So we're probably going to go in and just drill out this hole a little bit more, making sure that, you know, it's a good fit. Okay, so we had to make adjustments on two of the holes, which we've done. So now we're going to pop this, this mounting plate out, and we're going to go back to the front of the truck, and we're going to go ahead and score and drill a little bit on the dash. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to swap out drill bits. You wanna use this larger drill bit when you go to the front of the truck because it is going to drill a hole the size that will allow your nut to seat in your dash. Okay, now that we've gone ahead and made um, an accommodation for this nut to sit down into the dash, we can go ahead and permanently mount our plate to our tray. Washer, then nut. So we've... Uh, mounted our tray and our plate with our screws and nuts and we also there's this hardware that is intended to go into these side pieces so this we believe is to just give you another added holding point you have your clips on your tray that snap into your dash but i think having these they're going to bite into your dash would just be another fastening point we did go ahead and do a little bit of pre-drilling on the tray these feel like they're self-tapping but we were struggling with it and we were concerned that we would damage the tray so again you do what works best for you for us it was best for us to go ahead and do a little pre-drill and then get our screws pretty much set so that once we snap this tray back in we can just go in and and go ahead and finish the job Okay, now we're just going to snap our tray back into the dash. Okay, so now we're ready to attach our ball mounts to our ruby grid. And prior to that, I'm going to go ahead and attach my arms to the ball mounts just to get that stuff ready. I found it's easier, I already did this one, I found it's easier to kind of do the back side, well I don't even have to call that the back side, first, and then you're kind of clamping it with your hand, and then you can open it to get it on the ball. Then you're kind of holding it as you tighten down. This is also a good time to point out that they do send this other really nice little tool that if you know you have to get into areas that are harder if you have bigger hands or they're just it's a little tighter for you this this works really well you just kind of put it in there and it will well I'm loosening it right now but you can tighten it this way and it's nice because it comes with a little key ring so you can attach it to your key ring that way you'll always have it with you so we'll go ahead and do the other side and then we have to start making the uh, adjustments as to like where everything's going to sit to accommodate my reach so we sat in the truck and I figured out where I wanted my plates to be placed, my ball mount plates. And once you figure that out, you can actually remove your arm from the ball mount. It makes it a lot easier to attach it to the plate without all this stuff like in your way. So we're going to go ahead and attach this one and then we'll move to the truck. The cool thing is this little, it's even magnetized. Their little screwdriver. That's amazing. Bullet point, you're on point. So all I'm doing is I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of get them started, like seated as best I can. And then I'll come back. We want a little wiggle in case we have to make any adjustments. 
<laughs> that's crazy that that's a, that little screwdriver is magnetized. That's pretty cool. All right, so again, I'm not I'm not driving them home yet. Go around and tighten them a little bit, little bit. And then I'll keep going all the way around. Just hoping you'd be able to see. Okay, so everything, like anything in your vehicle, it has to work for you. So this is what works for me. I set everything up that one, the biggest thing was that everything was in reach. You'll notice that I have two different mounts, one for my phone. I chose the clip style. That just works for me. I use my phone for the work I do and I really didn't want to lose my case. And I think I would have had to do that. So it's important to note if you do choose this mount, way to attach your phone, you don't want to pull it apart with your hands. You could potentially damage the in inner workings, which is a spring. You instead use your phone to open and get it to clip in. It's really in there, so you're good there. I chose the mounting plate, the magnet mounting plate for the radio, because this is something that I don't mind that there's a plate on the back of it. It's not going to interfere with me using it in any other way. I like that I can grab it if I need to, a grab and go type thing. It, this is what works for me. Also remember that when you're driving, you can twist your things out of way if this is, you know, in your way or bothering you in any way, which it really doesn't impede your vision in, at all. You can do that. And then you can also make adjustments here. Once you pretty much have it locked in, definitely use the tool to really tighten these down because you don't want your stuff all flopping around when you're driving. I'm really happy with this and I think it's going to make a big difference just just not having to reach for, you know, where's my radio? Where's my phone? It's everything. If I'm using my phone for navigation, I can see it. It's in a great spot. If I need to talk on my radio, I don't even need to take my radio down. I can actually reach my button to talk like this, which is great, I, because that was another thing that became difficult. I think it's the bottom line is you really can't go wrong with this system. I think if you choose to purchase it, you'll be you'll be really happy. All right, so if you made it to the end of the video, we hope you found it helpful. I can't say it enough that this system is amazing. For example, that they give you all the tools that you need, that the way the ruby grid is set up it, it's flush that's really nice it's not sticking up i know that sounds crazy but when you see those other systems you'll understand i'm going to link everything that came with what i used in the description below if there is any parts of the video that you have questions about or things that we did that may have felt unclear please leave a comment we will absolutely answer any questions you have I am, again, really happy with it, and I can't wait to get on the road and use it, and I just really appreciate you guys watching, so we hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Radio check. Roger, radios are working. Excellent, excellent. Now, I just want to check to see what is for dinner this evening. Uh, I don't really know. I guess we'd have to go in the house and look in the freezer. Alright, that sounds like a total plan. I think you should probably put it in a two-wheel, uh, two-foot drive and, uh, and rock on out of that Nissan Xterra. Roger that. Over and out. Appetite ready to go. Ha, 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 ha.